Hello, and welcome to a short tutorial I'm going to show you guys. I know some of you guys have been requesting about how to install submods for CK2 Game of Thrones. And it's been a while since anyone's ever made videos on them. So I want to show you guys what would happen, how to install a submod. It's super easy. If you've installed base Game of Thrones for CK2, all you really have to do is... The first thing you search, I'll, I'll link this website, uh, is the Game of Thrones Citadel. It is their board of submods that you can find. People post their submods on here. You can find a whole bunch of them. Uh, Forge Bloodlines, uh, people posting stuff that's pretty recently. I mean, February, March, um, Far East mod, Improved Ruins, Congenital Overhaul, things like that. So, one of the recent mods that I've seen... I'm going to show you guys how to install. Is the Game of Thrones Portrait Overhaul. Just came out. Kind of in March. Uh, well in February it came out. But in March they've updated it. And it has a whole bunch of all this stuff. See it comes in with different Targaryen portraits. It's probably one of the best portrait mods I've seen. Um, especially for a game about 10 years old. That The mod team that's been here about 10 years old. Uh, so much different stuff. Low Valyrian, Riverman, Veilman, Westerman, Reachman. Whole bunch of mods. I'm currently using this right now. Uh, so I'm going to just show you how to download this. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here. A lot of com, com patches. So a big popular uh, mod is Congenital Overhaul, Congenital Overhaul and More Bloodlines. Uh, more, bl more Bloodlines is pretty much a not a central some mod but it is very useful it's how you see in my videos how a bunch of characters have a bunch of bloodlines already at the start and how you can mix bloodlines because of course you're gonna have bloodline more bloodlines for different characters just because uh the base game ck2 game of thrones you just have a uh, just brand the builder that's it like you don't have torn stark you don't have the king of Nell, you don't have anything like that but more bloodlines would add stuff like that like tywin lannister cersei stuff like that so, what you would do here is you can just download the base file right here. Just click the link, download it, and you'd have it installed. But for me, I would want to install the com patch, which is, which is the compatibility patch for more bloodlines and congenital overhaul. Again, you can find congenital overhaul and more bloodlines by itself through that link that I'm going to have in my description. Uh, but if you install it, see this is what it says, specifically uh, run this in combination with a Game of Thrones PO base, a Game of Thrones more submod, uh, bloodline submod, conjure overhaul, and it looks like he has links to them. You can click them, you just straight up link to them, which is very nice for the mod creator. And conjure overhaul plus more bloodline version. Do not run with this with a Game of Thrones PO characters. Okay, so what you would do is you would click them, you'd install it, go to a page, you just directly install. I have WinRAR. So you don't want to add all of them to your documents folder. Where you would take these folders, where you install them at, is the documents mod folder. So you want to go to right over here, this PC, documents, Paradox Interactive, now the Paradox Interactive could show Game of Thrones by itself right here. I don't know if that's just for me a long time ago, but you've got to go into the mod folder in Paradox Interactive. And there you see all of my subscript all my submods along with Game of Thrones. There are some submods that have folders that work perfectly fine. You just drag them into the folder, they work. If they show up here in the mod folder dragon portraits all these william nicknames and then you've installed them perfectly fine you should be good to go again guys remember sub mods can make the game unstable so if you are having problems with the game i recommend probably going through your sub mods turning them off seeing what changes because especially with the official ones like the uh Burnish Wars, Valerian Freehold, the stuff you can go back in time to. If you have mods like more bloodlines, 
they're not going to be compatible with each other because more bloodlines adds different provinces and these add more different provinces as well so you don't want those together they could really mess up so what we have here is say we have more bloodlines and congenital overhaul what is the one that they wanted us to add you wanted to add a game of thrones po plus more bloodlines compatch so what we have here is more bloodlines plus co there we go and in my folder you see i have them here i added the po plus co plus mb and i've added these mods and i also believe yes so there will be a strange mod file you want to drag that sometimes mods need you to drag that mod folder that mod file out by itself out of the folder and just into the documents into the mod folder itself just taking it out say like here just take it out drag it out some mods don't but that's pretty much it guys again i'm gonna link this uh particular mod and the folder for all of it game of thrones citadel i'll link that as well and Hopefully, you guys, I'll give you another run through of what my bot model list looks like. All the ones that I have check marked are the ones that are working together. Uh, ones that I feel like just work way better with everything. Such as the CO plus MB Compatch, Immersive Events, more bookmarks, more bloodlines, Knights of the Sword Tower. If I want to do Colonizer of Valyria, I can just click these two marks on. Uh, the Colonizer of Valyria one I have is the one that specifically has more bloodlines compatibility to. Remember, more bloodlines adds provinces, so if you are adding a submod with more bloodlines, you're going to have to find a compatibility patch with it. Hopefully the mod developers do it, most of them do. You can literally just search it up in the Citadel and you can find it. If you guys have any more questions, comment. And you know me, I, I try to comment and reply to everybody that I can. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one.